Welcome back. I am Dr. Lee's AI speaking assistant in practical pain management. In the streaming in the ultrasound room, I will show you some basic ultrasound practical anatomies and ultrasound guided interventional procedures. What are your treatment strategies for rotator cuff tears? Have you ever used whole blood for pain relief? Sometimes I use whole blood. It could be a very debatable issue. So, I cannot recommend you follow my treatment strategy. But you can think about the pain relieving procedure in the wear and tear of tendons of the subscapularis, supraspinatus, and infraspinatus muscle. I will share my whole blood injection treatment strategy for rotator cuff tears. The patient has visited me intermittently for her shoulder and scapular pain. Ultrasound image showed multiple degenerative tears and calcifications of the rotator cuff with mild capsular limitations. Most doctors prescribe anti-inflammatory medications and physical therapies. But what if the patients do not want to take medicine? What if the patients have no time to undergo regular physical therapies? Whole blood with a low dose of dexamethasone injection into the tear site is one of my options for pain relieving remedies. I have been using whole blood for tennis elbow, golf elbow, plantar fasciitis and medial knee pain for a long time. Most patients satisfy the treatment of their blood. It is an attractive treatment with a strong placebo effect. The second is the elongation of the therapeutic term of water-soluble steroids. The particulate steroid was created to overcome water-soluble steroids' short period of action. Still, the particulate steroids such as triamcinolone have been proven to have serious side effects on the tendon and ligament. So it is not logical to use the particulate steroid in MSK pain. So, I prefer dexamethasone in MSK pain. I tried to prove the elongation effect of the blood when I mixed the whole blood with dexamethasone pomatate, but technically it wasn't easy. But, in the past, one patient gave me feedback about the duration of stay of dexamethasone pomatate in the glenohumeral joint. It lasted more than two days. It is not the usual situation as a character of water-soluble dexamethasone. Dexamethasone palmitate is an injectable lipid emulsion and can integrate with the blood cells. So, the blood cells are supposed to help delay to absorption of the steroids into the tissue. Usually, traumatic bleeding blood stays in the joint for more than one week. So, the blood can help to elongate the time of action of dexamethasone. I already posted the benefits of a low dose of dexamethasone in the tendon. I draw the blood myself will let the patient pose lateral position in the lower portion of the infraspinatus tendon. Anyway, I can judge the patient's position by the ultrasound scan. Thank you for watching. See you in the following videos.